we have three pages of notes to get through today. I don't think we'll get through them all. I'll also be referring to this, which is the Goden no Show, the Book of Five Rings by our sensei, Musashi, one of the greatest swordsmen who ever lived, if not the. There was definitely exaggeration with um, some of his bouts and battles, but supposedly he won 60 duels, many to the death. Started dueling, I think, around age 12, 14. The last couple of years of his life, he was so good that he kind of retired and went into a cave and wrote this. He became like a religious monk in a way, and he wrote this book for us. This is a Bible of Kenjutsu, Iaido, really anything. In business, they use this as well. It's very literal to the sword. Who's read this or at least looked it over? Many of you. So I want to use a couple passages as we get going to inspire us, because it literally talks about swordsmanship. It's our job to take this and interpret it in business or personal life. But many things in here are poetic and they can be translated to our century, even though this is hundreds of years old, okay? Reading this before and after every seminar inspires you to really do your best. And Musashi was, quote unquote, and I don't mean this in any way, but the way I'm telling you, he was a bad ass. Most of his kata have nothing to do with frills or rigmarole. It was you move in and you cut and kill and you move on. Very battlefield oriented, very fiery although he goes over all the elements. I love his style. There's no nonsense in here. Every word has a meaning, and most of it is kill, kill, cut, kill. This is coming off of different styles that I have learned over the years. It is unorthodox. It is not like Mugai Ryu or some of the others, Shinto. Many styles that I've studied are not in here, but some are. You'll see them peppered in. But with our Taijutsu background, our Budo Taijutsu, we must move differently. If I was brought up in only one of those Ryuha, I would not be moving the way I'm moving today. So you should embrace your body movement, your walking, your taijutsu underneath every kata we do. Many of the schools don't have much footwork, some angling. A lot of these schools don't have two people fighting. It's just you by yourself. You know what I mean? You're like meditatingly drawing the sword for practice, but often there's no combatant. So this is kind of Think of it as an Edo period, it's later in history, it's not samurai armor. We have a whole DVD for that, that's a different battlefield. This is like 1800s, 1700s, 1600s Japan. They're wearing kimono and soft clothing. So a lot of the cuts that we do are not big, they're very small, designed to cut the hand and the wrist. It's strategy. It's about cutting the opponent, letting them bleed out, versus throwing your body with a full suit of armor into somebody completely different than Hema or other things you'll see.